Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sounding a bit puffed out. <coughs> Just through the uh, end of making my last video, I had a distress call from a friend to help carry a solid wooden table up the high street of where I live. So yeah, that was fun. And I've just got back and I'm knackered. Whew. Chill. Calm down. Right. Sitting on my foot. Yay, yay, yay. Right, today I am bringing you swatches and my thoughts on the two new chocolate palettes from I Heart Makeup, Makeup Revolution. We have the Pink Fizz and we have the Salted Caramel. Um, I love these palettes. I've got the Milk Chocolate, the Dark Chocolate and the White Chocolate palette already, um, which is called I Heart Chocolate, Death by Chocolate and milk chocolate palette I think I'm not sure um, but this one is pink fizz and this one is salted caramel I'm going to do the pink fizz first because I have been using this one the most and I love it um, you know some of the eyeshadows are hit and miss but you get that in even high-end products so um, that is an overview of the colors very pretty laid out very similar to the um, Too Faced chocolate bar palette as the dupes for that is originally what they were so um, yeah I'm just gonna go through the colors um, and give you some swatches on the back of my hand see what you think so the top row we have shampers drink flute sparkling and toast so we've got shampers shampers drink flute sparkling and toast so shampers is literally just your matte highlight which is beautiful drink is you know quite a nice transition shade shade actually I think then we have flute which is a sparkly oh, shimmery beautiful um, sparkling and toast so here we go you have champers drink flute sparkling and toast and they are beautiful so let me just swatch them on the back of my hand they're quite light you can't actually see them very well um, you can see shampers really well and drink flute is that one sparkling is that one and toast is that one they do swatch better on your fingers than they do on my hand um, let me just wipe those off but the lighter colors you know they do come out a lot better on the eyes shall I say uh, the two favorite ones in the top there are flute and sparkling I just think they are the most amazing colors ever and they do come out better on the hands when there is wetness applied or there is a primer um, so I think those are two my two favorite ones there then underneath that you have bubbles girl party elegant celebrate and truffle so that's these ones along here it's a gorgeous blue i love it so we have bubbles which is a white um we have girl which is like a brownie sparkly color we have party which is like a caramel color elegant Um, celebrate so that's those ones that one and there's one more which I can't go on. so there's that one that one that one that one that one and we also have truffle which is that one so these are a lot more pigmented so they're really nice I love the blue in this this shade in this palette the blue is a really nice sky blue um, I think they work better on a primed eye or on a wet eye um, and the bottom ones are rosy cork pop France and pink fizz which is obviously what the palette's called so we have rosy here then we have cork then we have pop and is that France yeah pop and France and then pink fizz so let me swatch those ones for you 
So we have rosy, which is a bit powdery. Cork, which is an amazing colour. Pop, which is a real dark chocolate brown. We have France, which is a dark blue. And we have pink fizz. So those are all those colours. So let's pop them on there. We have pink fizz. We need a blue one. Dark chocolate brown. That sort of bronzy brown. There. Pink fizz is gorgeous, but it's very powdery. So that's what those ones look like. Um, they do look beautiful on the eyes. I have done a blue smoky eye with this. I've done a really subtle sort of like rose gold pinky tones eye look with this. Um, overall, the palette is really, really nice. Again, I have stuck the names up in the mirror because I don't really use the mirror. But you can still use the mirror. Um, it's not brilliant. You can sort of see yourself. Um, the, like I said, there's a few hit and misses in here. The top rows, a little bit hit and miss. But all the other ones are pretty good. So all in all, I love this palette. Um, I like the packaging. It's just amazing. It just looks like a pink chocolate bar, which you just want to bite into. So that is Pink Fizz. I'm now going to go on to Salted Caramel, which, as you can see, is a lovely caramel colour. Um, oh, it's beautiful. I wish, I know that these aren't really proper dupes for the um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, but I really do wish they smelled of chocolate because... Actually, they do smell a bit. This one actually does smell like Salted Caramel. Oh, yeah. Right, so the colours in here, we've got the top row is delish, Delicious Tempt. Heavenly, Drizzle and Enjoy. These are a lot darker, these colours, as you can see. A lot, lot darker. Um, so I'll swatch those for you. So we have Delicious, which is your matte, obviously. Uh, Tempt, which is a really dark colour. Oh, my God. Um, Heavenly, which is a bit... Mm, yeah. Drizzle, which is gorgeous, and Enjoy. So those are those. That one's there. I'd say Heavenly in this one is the um, one that's not brilliant. Yeah, you can see Heavenly is this one here, which you can't see very well. But the other colours are all divine. Nice dark smoky eyes you could get out of that palette easily. Um, again, I think these work better with an eye primer. Um, a liquid eye primer probably more than a like spray your brush and then apply it so the next row we have chalk cake perfect crunch sweet and fudge um, these look quite nice actually quite interesting so we have chalk cake mm, cake's a bit hidden this uh, perfect which is a nice sort of cool toned brown Crunch, which is the most amazing dark blue. So that's those ones. Let me just put those ones on there. And the last two in there are Sweet and Fudge, which I shall swatch for you now. So uh, Sweet and Fudge. So that's those. Again, nice colours. Blend quite well these as well. Not bad at all. Um, so I like that. I kind of like this one. It's a really nice sort of autumnal orangey brown colour. Which is nice for a nice warm transition colour. I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. <sighs> mm. Nothing like a warm cafe latte. Right, and the bottom row we have salted, candy, caramel, spoon and yummy. Which are all these ones along here. So, let's do salted. I think I'm going to like salted. Yes, I do. Definitely like that one. Candy, I think that's a matte. So, yeah, I think it's the matte shades that don't come out brilliantly on here. Um, then we have caramel, which is a gorgeous bronzy gold. And spoon. Is that those ones? So we have salted, 
candy. Mm, candy's not very good. Caramel. Spoon. And the last one in here is yummy, which is your sparkly sort of shade. And that's that one. I do actually love that one. That one's gorgeous. So that's those ones. Again, overall, I love the palette. Um, there's so much you can do with a variety palette like this. It just it just speaks volumes when you look at it you can sort of you know picture what you're going to do with this palette and again the same with the pink fizz you know hit and miss these these palettes are only i think they're 7.99 so at the end of the day you know you get what you pay for and you certainly get more than you pay for in these palettes i think i just think they're really good um for the price you've got so much variety so much choice of what to do i'm sitting on my foot again ah um, but yeah, so that's the two palettes that I've got. This is the Pink Fizz. This is Salted Caramel. I love them. I think they're brilliant. Um, and for the price, they're a bargain for what you get. There's only a couple of shades in each palette that are a little bit sort of hit and miss and, you know, not very pigmented at all. But then you get the other ones which just blow your head off, basically. So yeah, that is that. Um, I hope you liked that little review. Um, I have, like I said, got the whole collection now of these. So I'm happy I've got all of them and they look really nice sitting next to each other on the shelf. They are a bit difficult to stack because of the, the nature of it, but I stack them like this or like this on the shelf. Um, you can pretty much see which one's which because, you know, this one's a caramelly colour. Um, pink Fizz is obviously pink. Um, the white chocolate bar and the dark chocolate bar and the milk chocolate bar are all amazing. Um, so yeah, they've got five in the collection now and I love them. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little review and swatches. Um, I think they're worth it for eight pounds, give or take a penny, go out and buy them. And you know, you've got a variety of colors to use for different occasions. I hope you liked it and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll know to do more videos like this. Um, I hope you are well in everything you're doing and wherever you are and I'll see you soon. Bye.